when I try to turn on my soldering iron, I got an error message S-E or 5-E. I'm gonna see if I can try to fix the soldering iron. So from doing some research online, I found out the heating element for the SE or 5-E was an error for produced from the heating element within the soldering iron. Luckily the soldering iron I got came with an extra heating element. Heating element is what causes soldering iron to heat up. So the first thing I'm going to do is disconnect it from my station. Everything's off. You'll take off this part here. Make sure you remember which order the parts are taken off in. So I'm going to take this part off. You can see it reveals a heating element. Next I'm going to push this down and unscrew the top of here. Again, remember the order you take things on. Then you see more of the heating element. What I'm going to do now is push this part up and it's going to reveal the circuit board where the heating element is attached. Pushing some of these wires aside, you can see there's two wires connected to what says heat element, heat, heat, and then you have sensor plus and then sensor minus. So to fix the soldering iron, you need a soldering iron. Luckily, my brother has a butane soldering iron, which I will use to fix this soldering iron. Now we have it working, solder ends there. Tune the tip. Add a little bit of solder. Okay, here's one. works much better. There it is. So red, red, blue, yellow, top to bottom. There it is. Make sure you also know if you're using one of these where the exhaust is because that's going to be really hot. Turn it down for a little bit. Alright, so now you can just take this out. Let's make sure we route the wires correctly. You can also tell they are already cut to size. So the red one, closest one to the heating element, is the shortest one. Then the next one, then we have the blue one, and lastly the yellow one. I'm just taking the wires and bending them to the side. We'll cut them at the end of this. All right, here it is. Now we're just gonna put our starting, put it on the starting station, and solder the wires together. Or saw them onto the board. Okay, move this. We have some pliers to cut the wires short. We're done. We have our new heating element. Let's put it all back together and hopefully we won't get the error anymore. It was hard to see that the error was gone, so I moved this into the garage where it's a bit darker and you can see the display. So there it is 450. So it ended up being the soldering iron element and that was a correct error.